I got my aqua decor. Background came in the mail today. I'm really excited. And I also got my three bamboo pieces from them as well. These are not, I have to silicone these in. These are, these are pretty cool if you look at it. They're synthetic wood. It's made of like some kind of resin. There's no wood in here whatsoever. And they have a little bottom that sits on the bottom of the tank. You put some aquarium silicone on there and you silicone these in wherever you want them. I'm gonna probably try to equally disperse these, you know, symmetrically throughout the tank. And then once I uh, silicone those against the bottom, then tomorrow I'll take this out of the packaging here. We got some plastic on it. And I'm gonna see if I, about drilling maybe a hole in the bottom so I can allow airflow, or water flow I should say. And then what I'll do is I'll set it up in the, in the tank it's very thin, this is the thin, one of their thin de aqua decor thin backgrounds. I'll set it in the tank and then I'll leave a little space and I'll put my intake behind there with my heater, hide that behind there. But I'm gonna need some, a hole in this <clears throat> somewhere, maybe indiscreet. And they actually send you this piece of meshing. I'll show you, it comes with it. And you can open this meshing up and that'll cover the hole that you drill so that no fish can get in there. And then that'll allow water flow in so that you can get your, um, your stale water will go in there, pull it in. And then I don't know where I'm gonna do the outflow of the canister filter. I don't know if I'm gonna go in front of this or probably in front of it, unless I can, I can make a hole in the top and go through it. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna first, once again, the first step is to set these three pieces of bamboo in there, silicone them tomorrow, set that in the tank, you know, see exactly where I'm gonna set this thing up and where my intakes and outtakes will be for my canister filter. And then once all that's set for 48 hours, then I'll fill it with water. I'll put my sand in there and we'll get this thing going. So it's exciting. I've been waiting for several weeks now. Finally came, this was customized to my, my, uh, my tank here. I gave them the dimensions at Aqua Decor and they created this. I picked the style, of course, and, and they make sure it fits perfectly and that it, everything blends together really nice. I didn't opt to go with any rocks. I instead well, I went with these bamboo pieces. I don't know. I think it would look good. I actually want to put like discus in here. I just thought it would look kind of neat. Some people put those bamboo pieces without any background and that looks pretty cool too. I mean, I, I have a kind of a grayish wall, so it, it would have worked, but I, I think I like the background too, so. And once again, the sand that I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use a very light, coating of sand. I don't usually like to use gravel. I always say, ah, I'm not going to use it. Then I decided to, but you got to cover the bottom portion. Otherwise it's going to look fake. So I'll definitely go with a light layer of sand. All right. So here's my aquarium silicone sealant. You have to buy aquarium silicone. If you're going to put it in the aquarium, you can't just use any kind of silicone because, um, you know, you're going to be putting fish in there. So you want it to be you know, safe and fish, non-toxic. And it even says a little warning here, non-toxic for use of freshwater and saltwater aquariums. And it's a long lasting bond. So this is what I'm gonna use. Um, I specifically went, I went on Amazon, I bought this. Aquion is a pretty well known brand. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna get the good stuff and I'll put it in there. I didn't want to get the stuff where you have to put in a tube and, and push it in there. So that, I mean, some of them, you can put almost a caulking gun. I got the kids running around and uh, so we're gonna just silicone these bamboo pieces in place. All right, guys, so here we're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I have the, the piece of bamboo and I have the bottom and I'm gonna take my silicone and I'm gonna put a nice like nice coat on the bottom here of this. Get a nice little amount of this stuff so it really sticks. Now you can see I got it all on the bottom here and I'm gonna put this in the tank and I'm gonna push it down and put some pressure and I'm gonna let it set for like 48 hours. All right, here it is. So we siliconed these pieces of bamboo down to the bottom of the tank. We'll let that set now for a good 24 hours. And I kind of, you know, I staggered them. I didn't want them completely symmetrical. I want them a little asymmetrical because I think that's more like nature. Nature is not symmetrical, you know, like that. And so we don't want the them exactly equidistant from each other and exactly equidistant from the front and the back of the tank because then it does, just doesn't look natural. So I kind of set them up at, a, at like kind of unusual angles to each other. We'll put the background in tomorrow or the next day 
And I, I, I don't know if I need to silicone the background. The, the thin backgrounds don't need to be silicone, but I'm gonna definitely think about where I wanna cut my hole for my water intake so that I can put my uh, canister filter intake behind this thing and so you don't see it. But I haven't decided yet, so I'll unwrap this tomorrow and we'll take a look at that. I unboxed, or I should say I, I unwrapped the Aqua Decor and I, as you can see, it's got some of these little access points here that stick out a little bit, these little ridges where you can kind of silicone it to the back of the tank if you want. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. It fits so snug, it was so hard for me to get this thing in here. I had to really like, really manipulate it in. And as you can see, my bamboo pieces have all dried. I've looked dry for several days. They're really solid now. So they're in here pretty good. I got my, my background in. I got my bamboo pieces in. And you can push this back and kind of to your liking, you know, how much you want it to stick out. It fits really snug, I'll tell you that much. It's so snug that it's almost uncomfortable to get in there, but luckily it bends and twists and you can kind of contort it in there. And, you know, it looks pretty good. Obviously I have to put some sand in there and I gotta put the water in, but I like the way that looks. Now, I was thinking about, you know, they say you can hide stuff behind it. Like you can put like your heater behind this here. Uh, your in intakes behind here. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't know if I want to pull it off the wall enough. I'm, I'm debating how I'm going to set the canister filter up. I might do it. If I do that, I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to do it anyway. I'm going to have to drill some holes in this to create some water flow so, so the water doesn't stagnate behind here and so that it can escape, so to speak. So I'm trying to debate right now if I should drill some just small holes to create water flow all over or one big hole, which will help suck the water in when you know when you have your intake in, it'll create like a uh, suction and it'll pull that water through the bottom. I don't know where I would hide it. However, the, the big intake, they do give you this mesh. If you do create a hole, you can put the mesh over so the fish won't get in there. This way, small holes, you won't, you won't see it really. I can put it in the, in the crevices here and you know in here. And this way it'll create water flow back and forth so the water won't stagnate behind there. I could probably hide the heater behind there. Maybe the intake, the outtake is gonna go over this. I'm gonna definitely put it over the top of this and let the spray bar come out over here. I just don't wanna deal with putting, spraying water out behind here and then hoping it gets in here. So I don't have a problem with pulling the old water out of the tank through the background. Although if I don't have the intake over the top of this, I might not get such a good cleaning effect on the tank. So. I'm gonna think about this for a few minutes. I'll come back and I'll show you what I decide. All right, so I got my Penplex canister filter there. I got my bags of sand, I haven't put that in yet. What I did was I ran my intake behind here. I just basically shoved it down there. You can see. There it is. There's the intake. It's just behind here. It's just kind of resting right there. I ran the tube down in the back of the stand. I just snipped it down to size. The outtake, rather than using the spray bar that comes with it, I'm just going to just leave this little piece right over here. And the outtake can just shoot water out right there. And I kind of just put this little suction cup here to hold it on the back of the tank. Um, I might want to just put one of these little spray things just sticking straight out, I don't know. Uh, right now I'm just thinking about just leaving it just like that. It looks fine to me. I have no problem. I could even direct it right along the back of the, I could turn this so that it directs like right along the back of the background so it's not really shooting straight out. I don't know, I think that might be the way to go. It looks very unintrusive. You're not gonna even see it because it's at the top of the tank. And as long as this thing doesn't pop off the tank and then shoot water out onto my floor, I'm fine. So that's how I'm gonna run the intakes. You can see I, I took like a little snipper here and I snipped the hoses down to size and I connected them to the top of the Pemplex filter. And now I'm gonna fill up the filter with some water. And I'm gonna probably, out of that big one, I'm gonna take some of the old material and put it in here so I can kind of cycle the tank a little faster. 
The trick is take it like one of the um, filter pads out of there, the old ones, and put it into this one, and this way we'll get some bacteria in there, and we'll start this thing up a little faster. The tank will cycle much faster that way as well. You put a completely clean filter in, um, there's no bacteria, and it's gonna take a while for bacteria to build up, so. There's plenty of bacteria in my turbo tank here, so we'll grab some stuff out of there and we'll put it in here. Everything's hooked up here. I filled the canister filter up. I put one of the dirty pads from that one I just cleaned out as well. That one was filthy. These tur I got news to you. If, you <laughs> if you've never had turtles, big turtles, the little turtles are not so bad. Big turtles, are, are, they produce a lot of waste. So I'm doing a water change right now using my python. Um, it's great when you have the sink right next to your tanks. That's, that's purposely set up like this. Very easy for water changes, and I happen to be a big spiller. And my wife doesn't like when I spill on the floor. I've ruined many of wood floor and carpet in my New York home. So we're doing a water change here, but I took out one of the uh, the filter, not the pads, the like the cotton pads that go in there. I took out one of the sponge pads, squeezed it out a little bit, and I put it into this one. So I have a little bit of bacteria-laden filter pad in there, which is good. And then I, everything else is clean. I filled it up. I, I snipped my ends, like I said. I connected them up. This thing's ready to go. Now I have my drill, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill some holes in key spots in this backdrop, this aqua decor backdrop, so that I can allow water flow to get back there so my intake can suck it up. Now, if, it's, if the tank is not getting clean enough because of that, because the particulate matter is not getting out, I might have a problem. I might have to put this intake over the top. And I, you know, I'm even debating whether I should just do that now. In other words, put this intake, rather than going behind this, even though it might not look so good, put it over this and you know, just leave it like this tucked in the corner somewhere. You know, it's not so bad. I could put a plant, actually the, the bamboo kind of hides it too. So I think that might be the way to go. Rather than start po poking holes in this thing and making a mess, ruining the backdrop, just put this intake over. It doesn't look so bad. I'll put it right in the corner there. No one will even see it with this bamboo here. And we'll see how that works out. Let's add some, let's add our sand and a nice fine, I'm not gonna put a thick sand layer, I want a nice fine sand layer just to cover the bottom of those bamboo, uh, you know, where I siliconed it and to kind of blend it into the background and we'll see how that looks. So now you can see I got the sand in here. I'm gonna spread it out evenly, blend it in so that the, you can see that the bamboo just kind of blends into that background. You don't need a lot. You don't want to put a, if you put a thick layer of sand here, it's a pain in the ass because then dirt gets into it a little bit. And it's harder to clean, I find. So I thought I was going to need two bags, but I think one bag might do it just for decoration wise. Now, if I wanted to do some planted, if I wanted to do live planted plants, I might have a problem. So I might have to um, do potted plants if I want to put some real plants in here because the, the, the sand layer is not deep enough, but I think it looks pretty good. I think it uh, looks natural, it blends in pretty well, and I guess the next step would be to add some water, and then, you know, we'll decorate it at a later date, you know, but for now, let's see if we can get some water in this thing and get this thing running. All right, we're filling the tank up, it's looking good. Little by little, it's filling up, and we're starting to almost be in business here, guys. It's getting exciting. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys, as I'm filling the tank up over here, I, want, I just did a filter clean and a water change here. Look how clear this got. These Penplex Cascade filters are really, really powerful. This thing in 10 minutes cleared up. I mean, this was disgusting, dirty water and it's like perfectly clear. You can see the turtles right through here. I mean, really, really nice job clearing up. Obviously cleaning the filter helped tremendously, but the water change filter, you know, changed. Did wonders. This thing's filling up really nice. I'm really liking the way this is looking. Gotta knock some of the sand off here. This uh, aqua decor is really, I'm really liking it. I love the way that it's coming out. It looks super natural. I mean, just knock some of the sand off here. Some of the sand is just sticking, you know, and that's just normal. And what we'll do is once we get the water in here, we'll start the filter up. We'll start cycling some water and then we'll go the next step would be buying some cheap fish because you don't put expensive fish into a brand new fish tank. That's that's foolish. I know that. Look, I've been doing this for a long time, so I might not know everything, but I know you don't put new fish, into, <laughs> expensive fish into a new tank. We'll put some cheapies in here. We'll get maybe a bunch of whole bunch of neon tetras, cardinal tetras. Well, the cardinals are a little more expensive. Probably put some neons in here. Get them going. 
Uh, if they live and they survive for a couple weeks, then then we'll start thinking about you know some higher end stuff. I'm also going to be taking you over to my other property across the street where you saw the uh, koi pond the other day and the other little mini pond. And I'm thinking about what I want to put in there. I really am thinking about possibly getting some baby uh, albino pakus, growing them up and then putting them in the pond with the with the koi. I don't know. That's that's my uh, my off the off the wall idea. My wife loves albino pakus, so we might do that. I haven't decided. I definitely want Oscars over there. That's, that's something that I'm really, really into. I gotta find some good ones. If anyone has any ideas where to pick up the best, high qual highest quality Oscars, let me know, because I really wanna put some really cool stuff over there. Anyway, this is shaping up really, really cool. And once again, once we get that filter running, um, we'll call it quits for today, and then uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow.